everybody, let's talk Disney. Uh, this will be my Disney update. I've been throwing around an idea of like Walt Disney Wednesday or something like that where every Wednesday I do some sort of tip or question or planning advice or you know Disney vlog or something like that, a Disney haul, uh, whatever, every Wednesday because, you know, I'm obviously a huge Disney fan and uh, I think a lot of my subscribers are Disney fans. So I was thinking maybe doing something like that, but I wanted to get feedback first and see if that's something that anyone would even be interested in. Um, as I know a lot of the advice I give, you know, it's, it's out there already, but you know, maybe it's easier just to come to one place and get information and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I'm slowly working on my blog. It's just been really hard finding time to get everything done lately with the kids all in school and we now have a dog and I'm just going crazy. <laughs> uh, so first things first, we have been like tossing up when to go to Disney next. So originally we were thinking either the end of January um, or the beginning of January, but then my husband and I decided to take our little Disney trip away, just he and I, and I'm glad we did that. Uh, or February vacation, which is the last week of February, April vacation, which is the last week of April, sometime in May, like around Memorial Day, because my birthday is around then, the end of the school year, which is like mid to late June, the very end of August into Labor Day weekend, because our kids go back to school the day after Labor Day, so we could take advantage of those really low crowds. Uh, so we've been kind of tossing around different dates and basically um, we are trying to balance lower crowds. I don't think there's a thing that's low crowds anymore. Uh, a decent price for the vacation. You know, we want to stay under a certain budget amount. Uh, I wish I could say that our Disney trips are like $2,000, but they're not. There are six of us. We have to buy tickets, which are the most expensive thing of all, typically. Um, and then, you know, you have your hotel and you have your food plan if you choose to go that route. Um, and I'll just say, the Disney Double Dose did a fantastic video the other day about the dining plan and is it worth it. And they went through their days and they said exactly what they got how much it cost, how much it would have cost if they were on the dining plan, why the dining plan worked or didn't work. And I thought that that was a fantastic video to see how it is. Now, if you are going to be a person that you don't drink a drink, like you, you just drink water with meals and you're fine with that, if you prefer an appetizer over dessert, if you don't like dessert, if you can kind of like snack throughout the day rather than have meals, um, you know, all those things kind of add up to you not really needing or wanting the dining plan. For my family, when we go on vacation, we like getting a dessert with every meal. We drink, you know, my husband and I do drink soda. The kids like getting lemonades and, you know, stuff like that. Um, you know, that's part of Disney vacationing for us is the dining plan. Yes, we could save a crap ton of money bringing in our own food. Um, you know, not getting desserts, not getting snacks, all those things, but that's part of Disney for us. Part of Disney is the fact that we don't really ever go out to eat at home. We rarely have dessert. You know, it's part of that, like, we're on vacation. This is fantastic. And a lot of you know that I was kind of tossing around staying um, at the cabins, not doing the dining plan, kind of bringing some food in to save money. And in the end, we all sat down and having Disney food is part of the fun for the kids. Me not having to lift a finger the entire week besides to cut somebody's food is part of my vacation. Uh, getting to eat a bunch of crappy junk food that they don't normally eat is part of their vacation. That being said, I do have to monitor Casey a little bit and have to bring some of his own familiar foods at home um, because he does tend to get sick after a while with Disney food but that's just Casey it's just his body it's the way his body works he's the same way at home he can't have a lot of certain things so um I will say that we are tossing up two scenarios right now right now we think we have our dates all set uh you know I really did want to get a lot of stuff done around the house before we went back to Disney but we've done our budget like basically for the year 
and we see that we're able to pay off some extra to like my car loan and to my student loans and still be able to save plenty and still be able to go on vacation and still you know not live like we're dirt poor like you know we basically figured out what our budget is through the year for like you know our home budget and we made sure that we had um plenty of money every two weeks like more than enough money every two weeks to get everything done that needs to get done um still putting money into the savings and then we start talking about disney and we still have plenty of money to do it i'm lucky that my husband has a great job and you know i'm able to stay at home and we are able to go on vacations and whatnot so we're pretty sure that we are going to go ahead and stick with the april vacation and then this summer just really work hard at getting all of the projects done around the house um so we have two scenarios or a few scenarios that we're you know putting through our head right now so last time when we drove i figured it out it was about 380 dollars in gas to drive down there um no was that gas and food yeah it was like just under six hundred dollars i believe i have to double check for our uh gas for us to stop at fast food whenever we wanted like we went and spent like fifty dollars at uh, kfc because we were so hungry and like i think we were so delirious we just like weren't even thinking and we had so much food like it was not even funny um we stopped at Dunkin' donuts a lot to get me coffees and whenever i would get a coffee i would give the kids all a donut um and then jeff would get a donut too uh just to kind of keep me going obviously uh you know we'd stop at like the little convenience stores and i'd let the kids each pick like a piece of candy from the convenience stores or whatever so this is like us not even like trying like i'm sure that we could get that number down to like 450 to 500. but let's just say for you know a ballpark it was 600 dollars for us to drive we did have a hotel going down but we won't do that again it wasn't worth it we didn't sleep we paid like a hundred dollars for us to like look at walls so not gonna do that again um however so six hundred dollars for us to drive plus we have the added benefit of we have our car there we can go to the grocery store and get stuff you know to bring a much easier we can bring whatever we want we don't have to worry about weight loads and bag amounts and da 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 so there's that option then there's option two where frontier airlines which i'm like eh about because i hear that they cancel on people and change people and do this and do that all the time and they nickel and dime me for everything um they have rates of about 50 dollars and 44 dollars each way per person and then you have to do another 49.99 fee to join this like den club to get that price and then on top of that it is um I think it was 25 a bag um, for ch both check bags and carry on bags. Each person has, you know, their own like personal items. So like I would make sure all the kids had a backpack. Uh, Jeff and I, Jeff would have a backpack and I would have my purse. Um, and that's probably all we would bring as a carry on. And then literally we would put like a change of clothes for the next day, pajamas, you know, all that stuff, plus some stuff to keep them busy in each bag. Uh, so we figured another $150 in bag fees. So it's about $763 to fly out of Trenton, New Jersey, which is a airport that's about the size of my house. You literally have to walk out onto the tarmac to get there. And at that, we're still driving five hours to get there. However, it's, you know, probably after parking and everything about $900. It's $763.99 before parking and gas. And parking i think was eight dollars a day so let's say like nine hundred dollars so three hundred dollars three pay three hundred dollars to save about um 19 hours off of our trip or we've also been looking to go out of providence rhode island um and that's about twelve hundred dollars so double what we would pay for driving we're only about an hour and a half away from our house. We do still have to pay for parking and stuff. So really like $1,300, $1,400. So, you know, we've been tossing this around, you know, deciding is it worth it? Because, you know, when you drive for us, we have to think, okay, the first day you get there is pretty much done because you're just exhausted. And then um, 
you know, you're kind of in the back of your head, you're thinking the entire time, we got to, you know, brace ourselves for that drive. We got to brace ourselves for that drive. The drive can have hairy moments. Um, you know, it's obviously taking us 24, 25, 23 hours to get there. And that's a long time in the car for kids. That's a long time in the car for adults. And then you're kind of spending your whole trip kind of getting back on track for sleep, not to mention then you get back and your kids are still, you know, do, you know, trying to get back on track. And then for us, because it's 24 hours, that's an extra like two to three days that my husband has to take off of work. And if you factor in what he gets paid per hour, you know, yeah, he's getting paid to drive, but at the same time, we're losing out three days of vacation time. So we've been like tossing all of this up in the air. And believe me, if we could fly out of our local airport that's like really close to our house in uh, New Hampshire, we would totally do it. But the prices are so high out of that airport. It's like 150 um, one way. And then you can get like a little bit cheaper on the way back, but it's still, it's just expensive. I mean, given that would still save us on gas and parking because someone would take us. Um, but, you know, we've been, we've actually truly been debating flying just for the simplicity of you know i think my husband and i when we flew down there in december it just gave us that taste of oh we could be here in three hours we're not exhausted you know it's not bad and the kids love flying the kids love the magical express and all that stuff so you know in doing that we have to kind of figure out you know is it worth it is it worth us saving that much money is it worth it us scaling back on things you know things like that so there's that and then um, resorts. So the original plan was, you know, if we drove, we would stay at the cabins and we wouldn't do the dining plan and blah, blah, blah. Well, when we were talking to everybody, everyone is on the same page that everyone wants the dining plan. I want it. The kids want it. Everyone wants it. So um, it's that like mental, like, do I really want to play, pay for a meal plan when I'm sitting here and I have... Um, a full kitchen here. Not to mention if you stay at the cabins, their quick service option isn't the best in their little food court area. Um, so it's like one of those things. So then we started looking at other hotels and I was looking at Pop and my agent's like, you really don't want to do that. She's like, you, you know, every time you go there, there's another snafu, you know, you get annoyed, you get angry. She's like, and I just, she goes for $345 to upgrade to Pop or, or to upgrade to Art of Animation or the cabins, just do it. So... We're going to do it like we're basically going to do a split stay, but we're staying at the same resort. So either we're going to do the cabins and we're going to do from Sunday to Thursday with a quick service dining plan. Or we're going to do art of animation from Sunday to Thursday with a quick service plan. One of them is $38.75. One is $39.75. So it's a difference of $100. So it's not that big of a deal. So it's just a matter of if we drive, you know, do we want the pool with the slide at the cabins? Do we want the fun, like out adventurous, you know, outside, blah, blah, blah. And then the second part of our stay, we will do no dining plan or the table service dining plan. Because we do have, I want to do Ohana for our anniversary. Uh, the kids have mentioned that they want to do Tusker House. I know that they, every time we go past the Garden Grill, they do want to try that one. So that's another one on our list. And we really do enjoy Be Our Guest. Plus T-Rex, we have... Um, I'll have like my 25 bonus points for my birthday and, and all this stuff so we can go there as well. So when I put in the amounts for all those restaurants, it came to like $763. If you add it in dessert, it's about $800. So it's one of those things where it's like, okay, pay the $193 more and get 24 quick services. Um, what is it? Uh, 24 uh, snacks. Um, another set of reusable mugs and my Disney agent such like a lot of people actually buy those off eBay like they like getting them she's like so you could totally probably you know sell those and get your a little bit of money back on those um, so you know we're either doing those options so it's like 13 17 for the Thursday through Monday at our animation or um, you know add the 993 for the dining plan so you know we're kind of tossing things around and trying to figure out what we want because you know we have really decided that the dining plan, we do like it. We enjoy it. We're not people that, I can't feed my kids snacks. They would snack me to death. My kids eat a lot. They're all like skinny minis and you know, they do fine. My husband eats like a horse. My The way that I look is how my husband should look based on how he eat. Cause I eat like how he looks, he should, you know what I mean? Like it's one of those situations. So, you know, that's important to us. So. For now, we're literally just 
paying our bills, you know, doing the things that we need and then buying a couple gift cards. So, um, you know, we do save a little bit by buying our cards discounted at, you know, Target or whatever. And that does save a little bit. Currently, I'm not perking or swag bucking because they just kind of stopped earning money for me. So we ended up selling the phones and, you know, it's all just on our pay now. So it's just a matter of, you know, we're living frugally. We're doing the best that we can and, you know, trying to get there. And you know what? If by the time comes and we don't have enough money there, you know, yeah, we may take from like our house sinking fund and just kind of replenish it whenever we get back, as we know that we are constant putting money into that. And, you know, it's one of those situations. So we're very excited. I think the countdown now is at, this is right 90, yeah, 93 days until we're there, which is like, I can't wait to get back there again. Um, and this is going to be our only trip for 2016. For 2017, we have been discussing giving our kids the gift of a vacation for their Christmas present. We've sat down with them and kind of mentioned it to them. And, you know, every year they kind of joke around like, oh, look, we're going to open up a Disney vacation. And, you know, obviously we don't. So, you know, that may be something that we do this year. That may be something that... You know, we, we've been thinking, have them open up, like, um, you know, they normally ask Santa for, like, three things. They get their three things from Santa, which is plenty. They get three things from my family. They get a ton of stuff from my mom. Um, and then we were going to give them, like, the something to read, something you want, something you need, and something to wear or whatever. Um, we were going to do something like that with them. And then the main part of their present would be a vacation and we would probably leave like um the first or second of january yeah they would miss a little bit of school when they went back um it would be a short trip probably like a sunday to a friday or something like that we would fly uh we would stay somewhere cheap where it's cold they don't really swim there so we would probably stay at pop then um but yeah that's that's our future plans for Disney vacation. So if you want to see the Wednesdays, you know, Walt Disney Wednesdays, definitely let me know some like tips or tricks or anything that you would like to know or something that you would like for me to discuss further. Um, if you're taking a Disney trip within the next year or two, let me know. I always love hearing about people's Disney vacations. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being patient with me while I try to get some content uploaded on my channel and I hope to see you guys soon.